Okay, let's start to assemble uh, an NP208 Ford transfer case going in a Ford Bronco. So I've got my front case, my rear case, my ring gear, annulus, my front input shaft, my sector assembly, a plastic thrust bushing, my, my range shift fork, my mode shift fork and bracket, the main shaft, the sprocket, and the uh, front output shaft. So first thing you're going to do is put in the sector assembly. And this is going to go down. Just push it in. Okay, and I like to leave it with this as far down as possible. Next, go in with the input shaft. Next, go in with the ring gear. Actually, first put in the, the, the thrust washer. That's got to go in because it won't fit through this slot. Okay, that's in. Make sure, try and center that thrust washer so you don't crush it when you put the uh, main shaft in there. Okay, see how that goes? Then I'm going to put my uh, range fork, shift fork in, and it slides in. It's got to go in that slot there, and it should, see how low it sits on here? Shift this, look how when I shift that, it sits in there, it settles in there firmly as you move the, sh the sector assembly but that's where you want it. Then go in with your shift fork. It's got to go in the hole, line it up with the hole. Next you're going to go in with your shift fork mode with the spring down. And you, you just install this in here. Then this slides on. The notch stays up. Leave it settled right here. Make sure that thrust washer is centered in there and notice I have no plastic tips on all these this is optionally so there's see how it's set. go ahead and lift lift the case up and let it settle down in there pretty firmly magnet goes in the next thing you can do is got to put your thrust washers in and the way they go in you want the thick thrust washer to go in hang on sorry it's this one you want the thick thrust washer to go in first then your thrust bearing and then your thin your thin one goes in so this is going to go in okay it's in and then Next is going to be your thin thrust washer, your thrust bearing, and your thick thrust bearing. And that's what's going to end up sitting here in the case. So that goes on next. The next thing you're going to be able to do is put your chain on. Go ahead and put the chain on the main shaft. You can roll the sprocket onto the outside one, and then it should time out. <clears throat> don't put those on. Those don't go on yet. Put the sprocket on first. It goes on easier. And then, once again, the uh, thin washer, the bearing, and then the thick, and then, god dang it, put your snap ring on next. <clears throat>